Well, no, my Heidi, my Kiara Talofa Lava, Isa Bulavanaka. Great to see you all for video number 49. Really special, guys, as we approach the target that I said of 50 videos. So if we put that in um, retrospect, yeah, we've almost done almost a half, if not a bit more, uh, video vlogs of our entire year uh, at, at St. Pat's Source Room. So it's a really good effort. Now, the next fella um, that joins us, um, great to see him, hear his voice again. I personally haven't seen or heard uh, from him since we left school, which I can't be on nearly 30 years. So it's been a long time. Had a bit to do with his family. He was uh, a day, day boy who didn't live too far from school, lived in Silverstream, and his, his family were just a sporting family. They all <laughs> did something. Um, um, to do with sport, played sport, administered, uh, administered sport. They were really good um, sports people. But our fellow classmate that we're about to interview punched well above his weight, <laughs> literally, was a slippery customer wearing the number 15 jersey, played some really good rugby, and he was just one of those elusive players that you just, just wouldn't expect, and he just had a massive impact and was like a slippery uh, eel cutting up the back line, uh, coming in from the from the fullback um, position. He was a bloody great little player and, and went on to play well. Now, his father recently passed, um, and he was a great man, and, and we'll touch on that a little bit when, when we talk to him. But look, he's, he's right into his music as well, and you'll see that when we cut to his background. But it's lovely to see our mate, my mate, um, and welcome the one and only Jacob Smith. Kia ora, Jake. Hey. Kia ora. How are you doing? How's things? Yes, very well, mate. Thanks for joining us. You're looking good. How's it going down there? Pretty good down in Wanaka. It's uh, not cold enough or enough snow, so not many people going up, not many locals going up onto the ski slopes at the moment. Just a lot of Aucklanders. <laughs> wow. Well, listen, before we get into it, mate, lovely to see you. Now, what, um, I touched on it before, I just want to um, give all our love to you and your family, your father, Lee. Recently, yeah. he's passed away. A lovely man um, who uh, a lot of us got, got to know. He was the first 15 coach, of course, at school. He, he had a massive role in rugby in New Zealand as it entered the professional area, um, particularly in the coaching sort of coordination area. He coached overseas. He was just a, and look, just a really lovely man. So before we start off with, mate, just want to acknowledge that and give our aroha to you and, uh, and the rest of your family on uh, dad's recent passing. Oh, thanks very much. It's great. Yeah, now, he had a bit of a struggle at the end, but he, yeah, he, he was good. Oh, good to hear, mate. But like I say, all the best to mum, and um, she's going to need you guys, uh, you know, um, around uh, as she goes through this um, journey. Now, you mentioned Wanaka. What are you doing down there? How long have you been down in Wanaka? Been down here for like three years. Like originally, I was just going to bring the kids back to go to school in New Zealand for a year, but then Trump was a pain in the ass, and and then COVID, so we've just stayed. So oh. yeah, I don't, I'm not. We went. We were in. Um, kids were born in Boston, and then uh, moved to New York for a bit, and then San Francisco for a bit, and now yeah. Wow, that's awesome, Jake yeah. Jet Setter. And yeah. I, I know there's um, um, an old girl and an upper heart girl, Nicola Brocky, who owns a um, cafe in Wanaka. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, shit. Um, I'll, I'll, to, I'll, to I'll figure flick, that out. Yeah, I'll, flick, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll flick you the name of it. It's quite a well-known one, apparently. And um, oh, wow. I'll, I'll message it to you. Um, yeah, they're often winning awards, and she lives in the area and runs this cafe in your, in your town. So oh, I'll have to track it down. That's I'll, hilarious. I'll let you know. Now take us back. Let's yeah. start back. Look, you, you live fairly close, but were you always destined to go to Silverstream? Tell us about how you came about going to, to stream and nah. how, how many years did you end up doing? I did five. And now I was, I always thought I was going to go to Upper Hutt. Like uh, my two older sisters went to Upper Hutt and uh, I don't, and they would like I was brought up atheist socialist, so it, it was um, I didn't really know any Catholics. Like the, actually, the second time I ever went into a church was at school with, for a full mass, wow. and so that was super weird. And I didn't even think I don't think my 
we ever thought that I would even get in. But my dad's cousin was head boy in the 60s. And I think that's the only reason I got in. So, yeah, no, I wasn't. I think it was like a last minute decision. I think that mum and dad just thought it would be better rugby and cricket, really. Well, well, well thank goodness um, you did get in because we our, our year wouldn't have, been, <laughs> wouldn't have been the same without Jake's yeah. life. <laughs> Do you remember your first day? Yeah, I think I went down. I think I went, might have down, gone down with Pat Ford. Because I think he was the only other person I knew. I knew Jamie, Jamie Williams from cricket. And Pat was like a friend, you know, family friend. Of, that was about it, I think. Yeah. So wow. I didn't know any of the St. Joe's guys or any, any, any of them. Yeah. What, what, what was your third form, form class? <laughs> I can't remember. Can't I really remember. can't remember. Yeah, that's no. fair enough. It's been a while, but you know, <laughs> I know we had three. I was in three PB. There was um, three FM. There was there. There were a few different um, oh, yeah. form classes. We had quite a big third form year. Yeah, I can't remember. Sorry, okay. <laughs> don't be sorry, mate. Now you did the full. You did the full five years. Um, yeah, you were a bloody good rugby player, Jake. Like I just said, did you go on and play any rugby after school? Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Jamie and Scott Jensen and Pat Ford. Andrew Williams went down to Hutt Old Boys Marist. Yep. And we played under 19s there. And then I got into Wellington under 19s and played some decent rugby there. And then played under 21s and no, and then seconds. And then I moved to Ireland and was playing uh, in Ireland when um, for UCD, which is University College Dublin. And that was like uh, just the beginning of professionalism. Wow. And then dad was helping out with them. And we ended up getting a really good team because they were putting heaps of emphasis into getting the guys from high school into. So we ended up having Brian O'Driscoll and um, Karen what? Scally. Yeah. And, wow. um, and Dave Hewitt. So we had, at one stage, we had two Irish internationals and a future all black in the team so so we're playing in uh, um in in the all iron league and stuff so i played there for like three years so that was but then I, and then i got too many too many injuries <laughs> too many knocks in the head and yep. i or i ended up not nine but i tore with my mcl and both legs and acl and one and the last time i played i got like completely ko'd like uh, I, I went for a break, put someone forward and the guy just like bang, hit me in the oh, head and wow. hit, hit the ground and was completely knocked out. And that was like the, the first time I got knocked out was in uh, against um, Maris, uh, against St. Pax Town. Yeah. When uh, <laughs> I got tackled back and Doug McGifford's thigh came up and hit me in the back of the head and I go, it was out. So I think I was only allowed two of them. And they were like, yeah, you probably better quit. Wow. What amazing are those <laughs> stories. So what was Brian O'Driscoll like? Well, he was straight out of high school. So and I was playing winger. I'd switched to winger then because I got frustrated not getting enough ball. And then playing out to him was a nightmare because he could do – he had come from high school, so he never passed the ball ever. So I remember, like – standing over him one time after he got tackled and being completely open and go, just go, pass the fucking ball. But that's because he was, that's because he was like, you know, first year out of high school. So he was only with us for one or two years and then he went on to bigger clubs. Yeah, but he, he was, he was a great guy. And, and yeah, you, you could, the things he did like yeah. at, at our, our level was pretty insane you'd go like what are you doing and then he'd break four tackles and score a try and you're like okay how, how cool man that you can say that you know you not only played with but probably became good mates with the future captain of ireland and the irish and british lions well it was really weird because like i went from there to to uh the states so I went from there to boston and so you know there's no rugby you don't hear anything at all and we went back to dublin and and me and my wife like we were going through the going through the um, uh, airport, and there was all these posters of him on the on the <laughs> things. We're like, well, because we were we called him Stuntman because we made him do a to tear this 
tequila stuntman, uh, which is, you know, snort the salt, do the tequila and put the lemon in your eye for his first like professional game. And it, it was, he went from that guy to being the guy on, on the posters in the airport. It was really weird. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Take us back. Um, what did you do your first year out of stream? So 94. Uh, went to Vic and did a um, uh, political science degree. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you finished that degree and, and, and graduated yeah. with that um, quality? Yeah. That, and, then I went to, and then I went to UCD and did a master's in film studies in, uh, in Dublin. Wow. Congra- and then, congratulations. And then, we were, and, then, and, then, <laughs> and then I went to Boston and went to school again. I, I went to and did a master's in media arts at uh, Emerson College, which is in the middle of Boston. Wow, look at that. The boy from stream. A couple <laughs> of masters here and there and, and, and uh, well educated. But looking in your background, I do remember you um, really liking guitar. Uh, yeah. But look, you, you look like music. You, you've carried on. Yeah, yeah. Well, just getting more into it now. I wasn't really playing that much. Playing way more since I've been back here, actually. Yeah. Like, I don't know, for whatever reason been like hooked up with a few uh good singers and stuff and at the moment playing in a band with like this um french girl who's singing songwrites and stuff and she does heaps of stuff and we're trying to put together a little tour i don't know if we're going to go to the north island it might might be just a south island tour i'm not sure oh well (laughs) you'll have to let us know i think the boys would be keen to make a trip if you did um (laughs) Go, go on tour, mate. We'll, we'll be yeah. the rowdy, rowdy ones in the, uh, in, the <laughs> in the bar. Now, look, tell us yeah. about your, um, look, what do you do for work? What, what have you been doing all over the years and what do you currently do as a job? So after, uh, after Emerson, I did, worked in TV in Boston. Uh, so Hi there, that must be your wife in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Um, uh, so like doing TV production, like live sound. So we're like a production company and like, you know, NBA or NBC or news outlet would come in and we'd get hired and, and go do that, which was interesting because you just got to see all of New England and, you know, got to do cool things like go to like the Boston Celtics, like practice facility and, and do fun things and meet some cool people in that. But I didn't like it too much. <laughs> And, and so I didn't really do Matt that. And then we had kids and uh, my wife's a lawyer. So her job paid a bit better than TV stuff. So I ended up just taking care of the kids and then Fantastic. doing guitar stuff, like fixing guitars, now teaching guitar and playing and all that. Wow. Well, that's awesome, Jake. Good on you, man. It's interesting. Yep. All the different paths, all the boys, you know, have taken in life and it's, yeah, no, it's really cool to hear what you've been up to. Um, yeah. So tell us again, um, introduce your kids and, and your wife to us. So uh, how, how many Charlotte, she, she's, uh, she was um, born in New York, went to high school in Hong Kong. Her dad's Chinese, her mum's Irish. And uh, we met doing a master's degree in uh, in uh, Dublin. Wow. And now she's she's a lawyer. She was a lawyer for Tesla. And now she's for this other company called um, Loan Pal, and uh, doing solar panel loans for wow. private houses. So yeah, we'll too. Hopefully they'll end up coming here. It'd be good to get more solar panels and stuff on building in New Zealand. hundred percent. Now, hey, does yeah. she ever get to meet the man himself? Does she ever meet Elon? Yeah, uh, try, it's usually best to stay out of his purview, really. Um, uh, you know, he can be pretty temperamental and stuff. So she, she'll be on, she would have been on calls and stuff with him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's kind, kind of best to stay out of his line of fire, really. Wow. <laughs> How, yeah, very just fascinating and interesting, you know, these these guys, your Elon Musks and your Jeff Bezos yeah. and, and Branson, you know, they're all pretty topical now as they've gone on this oh, big they're space not, race. They're all, yeah, because like especially because we were, when we we're in San Francisco, you know, it's, it's, it's where all they all are, like the Oracle guy and, and, and um, who was the old Apple guy? Like you just hear stories and stories of yeah. them just act pretty much acting like children, but they have billions of dollars so they can get away with shit. 
so yeah it's kind of unusual that's incredible hey now um stream played today as you know live on sky which was awesome and it was a beautiful day yep. um in the hut your um now did you watch the game yep yep i watched it uh my uh nephew sam morgan is playing open side so he's he had a decent he had a pretty good game he chased down a winger which was pretty good he certainly did he chased them down well too and I, <laughs> He, yeah. He's a good player, mate, um, your nephew. And I also like the, the number eight. I thought, I think it's Crosby. Yeah. Was his name. He, he, he was a good looking player too. So anyway, yeah. we got the win, which was which was great. 18-12, um, uh, I think Beast, Damien Curtis was at the game. So he's come down a bit <laughs> early. So he would have enjoyed himself. Now here's a good one. We've got a, only a couple more questions to go, mate. Memories of stream, your time there. Now you'll have heaps, right? Like like yeah. the rest of us. But is there any one or two that you just can't shake off that you've always remembered that you want to share with the guys? I know. Pretty much laughing at Michael Stack every time <laughs> we go. <to. laughs> it was just hilarious. But, but apart from that, it would probably be all the cricket and, and rugby stuff. So like uh, you know, having that really good season. Where we lost one game with the first eleven in our last season, that was pretty awesome. With like uh, Andrew Cording and uh, Jamie and all yeah. that, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You you'll be you you you'll like this. Um, so you were you were a dual. So first eleven and first fifteen. Now the school has and basketball. And, oh, and basketball. <laughs> Can't forget that yeah, basketball. I think basketball then like you could just I think. Just turn up and they put you on the team. Yeah, but you've been allocated <laughs> um, a number now, uh, which is going down in Silver Street history, uh, like, oh, a cool. cap, like a cap number. So a little bit like yeah. how the ABs have got numbers. So if you played first oh, eleven, yeah. it's first eleven football, first eleven cricket, or first fifteen rugby since nineteen thirty one. You've you've got I a number what? now. Yeah, yeah. So I'll actually send you yours because I've got a spreadsheet oh, cool. of. of um, of numbers from our year. So you, you've obviously, you feature twice, which is an awesome achievement. You were a bit of a buddy, <laughs> uh, an all-rounder, which which was great. Yeah. Um, do you keep in touch with anyone from school, rule? No, I, I've i kept in touch with Chris White. And I think when I first came back, but this would have been super early in about the 2000s, I think I went to dinner with like heaps of people like Stack and, Jamie Williams, Jamie sort of organized it. So I saw, but that's the last, and I saw Fiji about three years ago. But yeah, it was, it's been, just being in America, it's, it's, uh, yeah, you don't really, it's not the same as like if you just, I went to Ireland instead of England for my OE. And so not many people came to Ireland and then going to the States, no one really, there's not really a New Zealand community. So you don't, you, you just sort of lose touch with everybody, really. Oh, absolutely, mate. We all had different transitional lives, you know, um, and whatnot. We were great travellers our year. But the cool thing is, is that if we ever caught up with each other, it'll be like we never, you know, we just saw each other yesterday. Which yeah. was, you know, that's the unique bond that that, that we all had. Now, listen, um, I know you've got uh, things to do tonight, so we're going to wrap it up there, but <laughs> I'm going to release this video tonight. Have you got a special message um, that you want to send to the boys now? I know you can't make uh, the dinner yeah. that's coming up this Saturday, but look, we're going to stay Oh, no, I'm going to be there. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. beg your pardon. You are coming. Yeah. That's right. Now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let me, I'll reverse it straight up. When are you, okay, coming, but... when are you, when are you coming up? Uh, coming up tomorrow. Awesome, awesome. So and, uh, I'm staying right by the tote because I'm staying with with Emma and Brent. So and their house is pretty much a hundred meters away from the tote. So if anyone's at the tote, I can I walk around and have a beer with them. Yeah. So look, you know, um, we're going to be there on Friday night. Um, yeah. From about six onwards, there's a bunch of us um, sort of that are out this way going to be there. There's also another oh, be bunch. It, be at the be at the dinner or at the tote. At the tote on Friday night. Oh shit! So oh cool. So we'll call it a pre-match. All right. Um, so six p.m. onwards. Tell Morgs he's more than welcome, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, I was telling him because he he's still friends with like Aiken and uh, John Perez and oh, stuff. Oh, look, look, yeah. look, look, more than welcome. Um, always yeah, have yeah. a lot of time for those boys. 
Um, yeah. So, look, we're going to be there from 6 p.m. onwards on Friday. Oh, cool. Okay. But oh, anyway, sweet. so look, I'll take that back. You are coming. Of course you are. Um, <laughs> have you got a message for the boys that will be watching this? Maybe a special message to the guys in Aussie too that they won't be able to join us. Uh, I know it would just be good to catch up with everybody. And uh, sorry, guys who can't come that wanted to come, especially the guys from Aussie. That's that's a bit of a pain in the ass. But, um, yeah, just be good to see everybody awesome well guys look there you have it um the one and only jake smith uh lovely to see you and again please give our love to mum uh and and your sisters regarding um your your lovely father it's when i heard that news i, I was pretty gutted um yeah. but but mate i'm look, really looking forward to catching up with you and and yourself safe travels up here and hopefully we see you on friday night with with the rest of the boys and can't wait to see you of course this weekend guys jake smith yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks, huge. Thanks, bro. Good stuff.